Hey, I want to show you an interesting feature I noticed about Visual Studio today. So here I am in Visual Studio 2022. I'm on build 17.4.0, though I've also seen this in 17.3.3. Uh, and I have some sample code here that has a flaw in it. Now, this is some code that asks for that starts out with a total of 50, asks for the user to, for a number to add to that total, uh, and then parses that number the user typed into an int and then only displays that int. It should actually be, be taking that, that number here and adding it to the total. And I actually have a green squiggly that says, hey, you're declaring this thing, this, this total variable, but you're never actually using it. Now, I might not notice that as I'm busy coding, uh, and a newer developer in particular might especially not notice this green squiggly here. This is one of those, the issues I run into with my students as I teach this professionally. Uh, and so Microsoft actually has given us this interesting feature as part of Visual Studio. You go to tools and options, you go to text editor, C sharp and advanced, and then you can actually just find it by searching for a display diagnostics in line. You find the feature right here, check the checkbox and then hit okay. And what you'll see after a moment is that your warnings now appear in line. Okay. So we have them appearing right here inside of our code. Uh, if I forget a semicolon, that's also going to show up, um, which is helpful. Um, so it makes it easier for me to spot where my errors are. If I'm a new new learner, I might uh, not notice these red squiggly marks and green squiggly marks and things like that. I might try to build my code and only see things in my output window or my error list. Uh, but if I uh, have this in front of me like this, uh, it can be a little easier to spot these issues, right? And so with these issues present, uh, highlighted here, I can now say, oh, I'm not using total. So I'm going to say total plus equals number to add. And I'll say my current is total. My, my total is this. Now, it didn't point out my spell <laughs> spelling issue here, <laughs> but that's on me. That's OK. Um, so that's an interesting uh, feature we have. Now, there's a couple flavors to this. Um, so here, if I make a couple different uh, different errors, notice that they're all kind of aligned next to the code where they are. The other option is to go in here, mark this on the right side of the display, and we should see them move <laughs> over to, to, to the right. And you see this is definitely an experimental feature because it does have these little quirks you see sometimes in it, but it's an interesting feature, right? So uh, I generally right now prefer this to be on and at the, at the end of the line of code or off entirely. Um, that tends to be my preference. This is something I'm going to be playing around with a little bit more to see how comfortable I feel with it and if it's something I want to introduce my students to to see if it helps them on their learning journey. But uh, as a senior developer, this actually is, is helpful sometimes during code review to like, oh, hey, here's a memory warning or here's a security related warning. And it makes it easier for me to spot it in line in the code versus having to dig around with it in the uh, in the warnings or the output or uh, even the build agent potentially. So let me know what you think. Let me know uh, if you are interested in this feature. Let me know if there's anything else out there similar to it uh, that I might not be aware of. But uh, happy coding and have fun.